It's making me sweat. Hey guys, welcome back. In today's video, it's going to be all about this Monstera Thai constellation. As you can see, it's starting to yellow off. And quite honestly, that's just a juvenile leaf. I'm not too concerned about it. I'm actually going to be transitioning it from semi-hydro to soil simply because it's fairly root bound and I figured it's time to give it a bigger pot. So if you're interested in how I'm going to make this transition or if you're just interested in what kind of soil I use, keep watching and let's get right into it. I've had this Thai constellation for about six months now and it's been through some things. I've had a random leaf just die on me, but it's given me this nice, beautiful leaf. So I'm not too concerned of the plant as a whole, but I am concerned that it is root bound. So that is the reason why we are going to transition it to soil because I can't be bothered to find a larger vase. Like, I, I don't even wanna try. <laughs> so we're gonna transition it to this pot right over here and we're gonna put it in soil. So I've gone ahead and soaked the plant in some water and hydrogen peroxide and the reason for that is because if this currently has any rotting roots or you know fungus it's gonna take care of that. So I'm gonna go ahead and kind of see if I can pull this out now. Oh. So this just kind of came right off, which is very nice. I don't have to deal with that. Let's see if I can kind of lift this. Okay, so I had to go off camera and because this plant is so root bound, I had to fill it up with water and then dump out as much of the inorganic substrate as best as I can. And hopefully now I can kind of like pull it out without damaging the roots too much so this is gonna make me sweat I should show you look at this Whew. that's a lot of work <laughs> this was so stressful it really was oh my god all right so okay so this is what we're working with like I said it's fairly root bound and you know, look at the roots. It's crazy, it's beautiful. <laughs> so let's get this out of the way. Now I am going to be reusing um, the substrates. Like you can recycle and reuse them again. There's nothing wrong with that. But I should have grabbed another container to put this in. So. I'm gonna shake off as much of the substrate as I can but I'm not going to like remove or disrupt the roots. I'm just gonna leave it as is and just add soil to it. This is what we're working with here. I am just massaging um, the root ball to remove as much of the substrate as I can. My goal isn't to remove it entirely because it's okay to have um, perlite and like um, pumice. I'm just gonna add soil to it. Now, and see the plant and just kind of remove anything dead I do have a little bit of like sorry I do have a little bit of um, root rot but this is probably from before so let's just shake it off and this right here I don't really need so I'm gonna take this off okay is this going to be its new home All right, so this is what we're working with. The plant is doing so well. Um, it doesn't really have a lot of root rot or anything like that really, just kind of like some dead ones down here that are on the bottom, but not too concerned. And like I said, I'm not going to disrupt the root ball too much because Thai constellations scare me, honestly. They, they're so temperamental and I find that 
if you disturb their um, their roots, they just they throw fits. <laughs> so this is what we're working with here. Um, it has this cute little aerial root, which I'm very happy about. And I've noticed that when your plant has a little aerial root that's kind of popping, um, it's gonna give you a new leaf. So fingers crossed. And yeah, I'm fairly happy with this. I'm gonna try to plant it so that I can imagine like a pole. So I'm gonna try to rearrange the roots in such a way so that it kind of sits like this. That way when I do attach a pole to it, it'll just kind of continue to grow. So the soil mix that we'll be using today is this orchid media mix. And I did soak it overnight with a little bit of HB 101. So it's fairly um, damp and I think it's soaked up enough water. And I did add some cocoa husk into here too. So this will be my mix. And I do have some old soil as well, just as like a filler so that, you know, it gets into the nook and cranny of things because, you know, this might not do enough. So I'm gonna go ahead and repot this guy and show you, I guess, the finished product. product and you know what I think I did okay um, honestly I think the hard part was actually just pulling it out of the vase that was very scary it, it truly was because I was freaking out about the um, the roots but um, in any case it's fine it's okay now um, I am going to leave it the way it is but I will actually put saran wrap on the bottom of uh, like just over top here so that way there's humidity going on and it's going to encourage that aerial root to continue to grow and like I had mentioned I've always noticed that whenever I have a new aerial root happening I'm gonna have a new leaf so hopefully next month I'm gonna have a new leaf and then that also means there's probably more growth happening over here which means I'm probably gonna have to repot this in the next two months but that's okay. Um, I find that Monstera's, or at least this Monstera, the Thai constellation appears to be a little bit of a, a slow grower. So it's going to stay this size for a little bit longer for me and I'm okay with that. So a couple of things that I want to mention before I sign off on this video and it's that I'm not watering this plant and I have a good reason. Just hear me out, okay? So this plant was currently in semi-hydro and it was sitting in water and hydrogen peroxide you know a couple of hours prior to me filming this video and that was so that I can kind of like loosen up the um, the root ball from the glass to shake it up a little bit now obviously when it's sitting in water like that the roots are going to absorb the water and that was the reason why I was struggling earlier to pull the uh, <laughs> the root ball out of the the vase without damaging anything and you know, in hindsight, technically, I guess I could have just pulled it out while it was still kind of dry, but I didn't want to risk breaking the roots because when your roots are dry, it's more brittle and more fragile, I find. So for me, it's better to just kind of hydrate the plant and it can withstand um, a little bit of trauma, you know? Um, <laughs> but in any case, it had already absorbed enough water from sitting there in hydrogen peroxide and water and the orchid mix that I was using um, I had already soaked it for 12 hours with water and um, HB 101 so the soil mix that I was using has enough moisture in it as well so that's the reason why this plant is not getting watered um, I'm actually just gonna watch it for the, the next couple of days the um the moss that's in here is going to let me know if i needed to give it like a good drink and it's a very chunky <laughs> soil mix already so i'm not too concerned about over watering it because it's just going to drain out and this does have drainage holes um but like i said i'm probably going to have to repot this again in like two months but um but yeah just i guess like the takeaway message with 
watering your plant after you've transitioned it to a new pot would be take a look at the roots and take a look at the actual mix that you're using if the mix that you're using is fairly hydrated already you obviously don't want to add more water i think that's the reason why a lot of times people have dropped leaves when after they repot but um if you just kind of pay attention to the plant and it's letting you know hey i've had enough water already and the environment that you're giving me is moist <laughs> just don't add more water just watch it for the next couple of days if the soil is dry obviously give it more water but that's uh that's the tip that i have for today <laughs> so this plant will be sitting in ambient room temperature it's not going to get any special treatment other than the little plastic wrap that i'll put on top of here but um I guess I'll give you guys an update in a month or two once it puts off a new leaf. And if you're not following me on my Instagram, go ahead and give me a follow because I do a lot of plant updates on my Instagram. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!